Hello, this is me, Zahra Jawad. I'm live on mommy, my mommy's page on Facebook. And uh, so I've come to the Surah Rad. Um, I, I guess I have to repeat myself that uh, this uh, Surah, the first verse came in my dream when I was in Dubai, long time ago, family apartment. And uh, the first verse came to me, that you know this is the truth. So now they're telling me that this, these, uh, they were plagiarized, they were pagan Arab idol worshippers, some of it, from there, uh, copied. Uh, so, you know, Rad means uh, r r thunder. He, uh, nay, thunder repeated, repeateth his, his praises, his praises, and so do the angels with awe. He flingeth the loud voice thunderbolts, and therewith he striketh whomsoever he will. Yet those are the men who they dare to dispute about Allah with the strength of His power supreme. So here it is uh, thunder, right? Uh, thunder is uh, a radu, radu. So this is thunder. And so the ver uh, first verse, oops, I forgot to say which uh, verse this is, number 13, Surah Rad, verse 13, 13 chapter of the Quran and 13 verse, thunder. And so this first uh, verse came to me in my dream long time ago. I'll just go to the first uh, verse says that, uh, excuse me, Alif, Lam, Mim, Ra. These are the verses of the book. And what has been revealed to you from your Lord, excuse me, is the truth. But most of the people do not believe. And you know it is the truth. So in my dream, it was like that this verse actually opened. The Quran is open to this verse. And I'm, uh, okay, I don't remember, but I remember vaguely. I think uh, it was open, and then I'm looking at it, and then it goes uh, something like, you know, out of focus or something. No, but you and but I remember this that it came to me that and you know it is the truth. So maybe the Quran was open and I wasn't really you know how the dreams are like. Maybe I wasn't quite looking at the whole verse or something like this. But it was I I knew it was from Surah Rad, and it uh, so I woke up and uh, then I opened the Quran. So this verse in Surah Rad, and you know it. So these are the verses of the book. And what has been revealed to you from your Lord is the truth. And so it was speaking to me, like there was this voice that came that said that, and you know it is the truth. But here it is put, but most of the people do not believe. So. This, uh, I'm going to look at this like in this very thing. Oh, sorry, very surah, surah rad is uh, 33. Give, give us your, uh, how, how to give me, give their names, right? So on one hand, whatever it's, uh, uh, the signs of Allah are the signs, thunder. So you would look at the signs. And it says you must uh, look at the signs of Allah. So if the idol worshippers look at the signs, 
and these signs told them something about Allah. But those who break the covenant, so you know, the Quran says no. These idol worshippers are wrong. They have fabricated things, idols. So reaching ayah 33, verse 33. Um, here it says, give. Already were other messengers ridiculed. So discovering is going to be slow again. Then is he who is uh, a maintainer of every soul, knowing what it has earned, like any other, like any other, but to Allah they have attributed partners. Say, name them, or do you inform him of that which he knows not upon the earth, or of what is apparent of speech. Rather, it isn't what is apparent. Their own plan has been made attractive to those who disbelieve, and they have been averted from the way. And whoever, whomever Allah sends astray, there will be for him no guide. So name them, idol worshippers, name them. Ah, so the Shia say, you know when I was in London, I opened my Sunrise Radio, it's an Indian, uh, no, Asian radio. Jungle, Pahar, Samandar, Kehte hain karo Ali, Ali, Ali. Mushkil ko meri hal karo, mushkil ko shah ali, saki lal kalandar mast mast. So I recorded that and I've lost that cassette. It's back in Karachi. And then I lost it. Uh, maybe I recorded something on it. Uh, so, oh, sorry, excuse me. The back, my back is hurting still. Uh, uh, so. Hot water bottle. Oh. So name them. Say, name them. Now uh, we'll be discovering uh, what is coming to me is that uh, <gasps> Prophet Muhammad plagiarized. And what, uh, <laughs> what evidence do I have? And uh, so, okay, yesterday, last night, um, I'll uh, now uh, speak about uh, what happened last night was that I went to uh, live stream Facebook and I remembered uh, I was uh, looking at this verse it's in Surah Rad I think also um, is uh, which one is now this one is a very uh, long surah so I'll have to go to the one where it says that Allah, maybe it's one seven, where is it? And those who have this, sorry, this is not the one, but I just want to read this one. 43. No, there's no 170. And those who have disbelief say, You are not a messenger. Say, O Muhammad, sufficient is Allah as witness between me and you and the witness of whoever has knowledge of the scripture. So this time, you know who has the, according to Shia uh, sources, it's Imam Ali who has uh, the knowledge of the scriptures. So let's call Narayan and let's call Imam Ali, because Narayan, uh, you know, is the God Witness Hindu. Let's see. Name them. So here we have a clue that even uh, the thunder, like I went into uh, once, I went into this video, uh, YouTube, Dr. Pillai's uh, 
I can't find it. Uh, help her. Uh, she was uh, in Singapore and she was saying what is Radha. Radha, the name. When you say Radha, you know what happens? Uh, so I can't find uh, that video of that lady who was uh, in this uh, Dr. Pillai's foundation organization. Uh, so, anyways, uh, so there's a clue here. Okay, so the thunder, the sign is that the thunder praises Allah. And in this ver uh, surah, uh, the verse thunder, I mean, it, it means uh, thunder, rad, rad means thunder. And it also says that the thunder praises Allah. You know, and it's it's a kind of an inspiration and khaf, fear, both. So, okay, so last night what happened, I'll just cut myself for now about this. And uh, so I found out about, uh, I remembered in college, I was uh, St. Joseph's College, Karachi. 1990, 1990 perhaps, uh, I was uh, I was in this emptiness. I had found this great emptiness, uh, nothing to own, uh, nothing uh, to be no one, nothing to own, nothing personal, um, not mine, nothing to have and to hold. And, and then I had this thing, this pull that I should love the principal, and I was uh, having a friction like, uh, no, no, I don't know to love or not to love. So I was into something pulling me towards her, my principal, Mrs. Munira Gulzar, St. Joseph's College. Uh, so I remember I was in the uh, uh, second floor of the co of my college, going to class, and I was having this dizzying friction thing. Uh, so I was like, no, no, I don't want to love her. It's enough now. One uh, teacher I lost cost me a lot of pain and um, my years. No, uh, no, 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 I can't. And uh, so, no, no, there's this, no, no, love her. And so I was like, so there was this friction started, right? And I was feeling dizzy, like, like something. And I was also seeing something is missing here, and God knows what. Uh, so I went in class, and uh, then I came out, maybe like a chain, chain, uh, changed person. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, uh, like uh, I didn't, uh, I couldn't find myself anymore my old self that I was with uh, Miss Dissa, everything was changing like I felt something was missing here. Yeah. Everything changed then. The charm of life came back. But, uh, you know, I was a different person, enjoying life. And uh, so last night uh, with this ayat, so what I did was I realized in, sorry, I'm so terrible at this. Um, what did, um, I'm going back and forth like it. So, uh, Suri, no, am I not your Lord, Quran? <laughs> so what happened is, uh, I don't know what happened in class, the notes I was taking, and I think I found a solution. The, uh, to love unconditionally, to love Mrs. Manira Gulzar unconditionally. So then it uh, naturally happened that I would just observe her, you know, to love. And thank God that I was graced that I could now love someone. And I even used this ver 
uh, this word observe non judgmentally. So when I came across Jiddu Krishna Murthy uh, in year 2000, somewhere, I bought his books and I was buying his books and all in Karachi. You know, he it really hit me like, oh my God, like this observation. But I only concentrated on Mrs. Munira Gulzar. I, he doesn't talk like this about concentrating on one person, he's just, you know, unconditional, uh, being, what does he, unconditional love, so, observation, without judgment. So in college in 1991, by then it had come to me that I should observe the principle, you know, what this love does, it's amazing. Uh, so this kind of love, it doesn't possess. It doesn't want uh, something. And so the real love was get coming to me. And I, like, uh, you know, I knew it from before, but like people were saying, you love Miss Tissa for this, and you love, because your mother is uh, emotionally, uh, maybe, you know, lacking something, and, you, and all this analysis and psychotherapy and all this nonsense was going on in my life. So finally they made me, uh, finally I told myself, oh my God, I don't love Miss Desai, and it's an emotional attachment. And one day it dawned on me, so I had to write to her a letter uh, that, uh, oh my God, how am I going to tell Miss Desai that I've been lying to myself and I lied to her? I didn't realize, how will she even believe me, right? I used to tell her that I love her and all this. So I was influenced by what people were saying to me. And one day, it like, really, I started to believe what people were saying. And then it was very shocking that, oh my God, I lied to Miss Desai, and I didn't have words to put. So I wrote in my diary, like, oh my God, it's just an emotional attachment. And I lied to that poor lady. And I was feeling guilty, you know, this. Anyhow. So back to, so now you see this unconditional love. Um, you just love. And then what Paolo Coelho, I found Paolo Coelho's alchemist. You just love without any reason. I mean, people always find reason and they know oh, what is this and why do you love and this and that. But I didn't love Miss Desha because uh, so discovering what true love is. Because my uh, something lacking in my mother, or she was like this, and uh, there's a, a therapist analyzing. <laughs> <You know? laughs> the... Excuse me. <laughs> so, 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 so. No, yesterday, I lost, am I not your Lord? Yeah, so in college, uh, that dizzying friction, heat, making me dizzy. Went to, uh, once I was in class, I wrote, maybe it was that day on the second floor, I'm not sure whether it was that day that I wrote, unconditional love. So to love or not to love, friction started, and then I found a solution. Unconditional love. And then it came to me that uh, I was graced, that this is true love. That you don't possess the person, you don't need the person. But that uh, if they need you, see, there's no need in this. Love does not depend on need or things like this. Uh, need has not created love. Love has created uh, the need or whatever it is. Uh, but uh, this need, you see, when the need goes, then, you know, the need is 
like I was in class logic first year second year I had logic third year fourth year I had philosophy so it goes to philosophy logic then higher subject philosophy so in logic it was like you know you take this ice cream your first bite on the ice cream and then it lessens that's a need the desire and then the need to have ice cream like you're or if when you're very hungry the first uh, you know what you take the food is uh, very it tastes very good and you need that but as you keep taking it you keep eating the ice cream then it gets lower the desire and then now you've had the whole thing or second one and finish the need is gone so what is that a lot of my uh, teachers lecture was very good I'm not a lecturer I'm not a teacher so that's why I'm not prepared I don't know how to explain this uh, so anyways you get the idea right but love something great about love is that the more you love the more it I mean grows it seems as it's growing like forever isn't long enough and uh, uh, you know with Mrs. Munira Gulzar she, I didn't want to scare her but uh, when I used to go for the walks uh, to their house I had Michael Bolton's I had the Walkman so I used to listen to Michael Bolton's song so it's a new love every time just you know and every time just walking with you I, I still feel inspired just walking next to you and talking to you it's a new love every time you get more you it's like so one day my therapist said that you are so greedy for love greedy uh, but uh, this greed it's it's a uh, you know yeah like uh, <laughs> some people would call it a greed so greedy but this love it um, it fills you up it fills you up but at the same time it's new every time it's new like you want more and more of this person you can't get enough so when I was describing this to my therapist once I once in a blue moon now after in college I wasn't uh, going to my therapist so she said you're greedy it just came out naturally but you never get enough but anyhow before that there was this contentment that okay unconditional love I'll observe the principle and you see what Muji Baba also says if you trust this this if you now just take uh, being to be or not to be so it would be unconditional being so you it's not you now it's just being it's not me Zahra my life my name my, oh I come from this family and my mother was this and so people are giving me attention you know because oh we know your mother and oh how are you and you are Nuzat's daughter or you are no no this being is unconditional so what we have lost what we have gained nothing to lose nothing to gain just being without uh, the personality what I am what I have what I've lost what I've gained what I've accumulated what is the conditioning where I'm from nothing so this being is uh, unconditional 
So last night when I was looking at the verse, Surah, Surah Araf, one seventy two verse one seventy two. Oh, was I in? Uh, so why couldn't I find? Oh, the, I was in Surah Rad looking for this verse. Sorry, it's uh, so here. It's very strange. It gives me Surah Araf and still. Oh, it's loading. The page is loading and still on Surah Arad. Sorry, so. Uh, this verse is not in Surah Rad, but uh, Surah Araf, verse 172, and I've been looking. Now it's come on top, Araf, 172. And mention when your Lord took from the children of Adam, from their loins, their descendants, and made them testify of themselves. This would be better saying to them, Am I not your Lord? They said, Bala, yes, we have testified. Bala. So someone in London uh, came and uh, was in the hostel now, and his girlfriend used to call him Bala. Bala, Bala. I remember outside our hostel, uh, she was calling him um and uh, so now he uh, now Paramahamsa Vishwananda from the Bhakti Marga looks like him but dark same height uh, he was slim then when uh, we were younger and uh, even I have gained weight uh, so and he was fair in London but uh, so sorry if you could hear the background sound and mention when your Lord so uh, the has there come so now uh, this Paramahamsa Vishwananda so they're telling me all this uh, you know that the discrepancies in the Quran. And so they're telling me that uh, Prophet Muhammad is very, very painful. Uh, just a minute. Uh, that he uh, plagiarized from idol worshippers also. So remember the time, did I mention this in my video? Uh, some Mo Maulana Saab came to um, teach me the Quran, and when it, when I came to reading Allah, I said, "No, it's uh, it's wrong here, because you said if this on the top like a W is written, then it shouldn't be a double L writ in written form, Allah. So why is it in double L written?" And he said, "You're right." And then this W on top is also there. So you said when the W on top is there, then it shouldn't be in written form double L. So you know the Hindus have come. Uh, so he was a very honorable man. He didn't stick to, no, no, the uh, Quran is right and you can't say this. No, no, he told me he accepted the mistake in the Quran about Allah, written Allah. And he said, if I find a reason for it, I will come back to teach you and to give you the reason why it is, uh, why this mistake is there. And you're right, there's a mistake there. But if I do not find uh, the reason for it, then I'll never come back. I won't come back to teach you the Quran in Arabic. He never came back. And I never learned the Quran in Arabic. But until uh, but this Allah and about uh, this, I've forgotten now, but I know the W thing. I, I just don't remember the name, what you call it in Arabic. And you know, when these lines, 
uh, you go up the word like Allah, then you have that duck line there. What you call this uh, shada and all that, right? Anyhow, this is my exp the way I explain things is terrible. I apologize. So now we come to Surah Araf, verse 172, like I did last night on Facebook live stream. And I was thinking, like, uh, what is this? Because then if we have, th then they say, like, remember, mention when your Lord took from the children of Adam, from their loins, their descendants and made them testify of themselves. So in form even we should not remember, we should not forget, sorry, we should not forget Allah. Like the form should have some evidence of Allah, but the, we, uh, there's no evidence uh, like that. You see, because the, like Imam Hassan said, that uh, how can something which is, uh, uh, how can something be, evidence to you, you know, the creation, it's a creation. It depends on you for its creation. It depends on you for its creation. So how can that which depends on you for creation be evidence to you, your existence? It cannot. It can only be a sign, some sign leading, but oh, how can that something to ponder over. So now we are told here in the Quran, and mention, mention when your Lord took from the children of Adam. So trying to figure this out, from their loins. So you know like the, we have to look at the, uh, below the spinal cord, maybe the Kundalini should, uh, something should, uh, here, remind her. Here, the loins. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to work this out. Uh, their descendants and made them testify of themselves. Saying to them, am I not your Lord? So last night it was coming to me because I think I called on Kalki Aftar. So again I'm going to say, Hare Kalki, Hare Kalki, Kalki Kalki, Hare Hare. Hare Kalki, Hare Kalki, Kalki Kalki, Hare Hare. Hare Kalki, Hare Kalki, Kalki Kalki, Hare Hare. So I went kind of weird. Descendants and made them testify of themselves. You see, testifying Lord that... Uh, who is the Lord? Saying to them, am I not your Lord? They should say, I am. And this I am is the greatest. Instead of saying yes, Bala. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. They said, yes, we have testified. This is a big test. It's a, like a witness testi testifying. Lest you should say on the day of resurrection, indeed we were of this unaware. So when the messenger comes, he has to remind us. How have you forgotten? You had uh, in this kind of, where were loins, in the loins, children of Adam, descendants, all from. So there's no past, forget the past. There's only the present and the future here present now since we made them testify here here and now is what we have so you come to the now you come to the now so the you know messengers coming and saying and i feel something went wrong here <laughs> sorry i'm not talking big uh, but that uh, logically it uh, doesn't um it's not uh, that messengers, okay, they may come and they may remind us. So I was wondering, how will they remind us? 
Now just take this verse in Surya Araf and it could take a long time. We can contemplate on this. Some say uh, concerning themselves. You see, they made concerning themselves meaning that they should know there is a Lord uh, who cherisher, sustainer, who sustains and cher who cherishes you. Cherish the time we have, we should. So they said, yeah, we do testify. This is a very good verse, actually. Uh, but it hasn't come from... It hasn't come from... Are you ready to listen? I don't have... Any, no, the proof will come slowly, slowly. Sorry, I, uh, Prophet Muhammad took some verses from uh, the pagan Arab idol worshippers. So that's why uh, very few can understand. And there's something wrong here. When uh, the messenger came, he should have... Uh, explain this verse properly. Maybe I should look into Al-Qafi Al-Qulaini about this verse. And I read it long time ago. I should just uh, refresh my memory. Am I not your Lord? They said, yes. We have testified. So I was thinking someone who would, uh, this, this, test, this testimony is inside of us, this Evidence is inside. So someone could just remind us where to look. You know, like the Hindus, they say now, uh, they say, now that we've learned, I've learned, sorry, is that a message? Uh, yeah, I think there was this uh, vibration on in one of my phones. Uh, I'm recording on the one I'm recording. Sorry about that, that was a me message, vibration. So, uh, 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 am I not your Lord? So this was uh, explained by our Imams in uh, al Kafi, I think. Uh, I don't remember much of it. And uh, another one is that uh, the throne rests on water. God's throne, but uh, we won't go there right now. Uh, so the Hindus, they tell us like how to breathe and how to meditate and how to uh, have this Kundalini here below the, uh, this here, below the spinal cord, I think. This is where lies this testimony, right? And then when the Kundalini comes up, and then it reaches our top of the head, Sarasra, or whatever they call it. And then we realize, I am. So material form is only a sign. So what has testified here? in its rudimentary form, the soul. And we are told the soul's knowledge we have given you, but a little in the Qur'an. Eh? And uh, nafs, the children, from, no, it says the children of Adam from their their loins, their descendants, and made them testify Allah over nafs, over themselves, over their nafs. Could this be themselves, like over their made them testify over their nafs. For see him as an... Alastu. 
like themselves, nafs in, uh, am I not your Lord? So I had to, I'll take recourse to another book. Sorry, it's not sufficient. Like uh, this lady has written, I found in London, Hands Across Time. So what what is this Hands Across? This nafs, right? And how Hands Across Time. Soul, I've forgotten, Judy Hall. Judy Hall, soul, the soul made enigma. So you can read this reference more, you can find out. Uh, um, let me see if I can find something here. Just, uh, hello, you're searching if uh, the quote I can't find, uh, the introduction of this book uh, chapter first chapter something like uh, how these souls were divided i think she gives something here if oh, i have this book but it's in karachi for those who believe reincarnation now we're jumping to reincarnation but in the beginning how uh, she has a whole drawn a whole uh, diagram how we were one souls, like we are told in the Quran, and then how the souls uh, were divided. I'm not getting it here. Uh, I'll have to later on maybe search again. Uh, so back to the Quran, um, Surah Araf, Ayat uh, 172. We will not allow to be lost reward of the reformers. And mention when we raise the mountain above them as if it was a dark cloud. I mean, this Sri Krishna did. It's in the Hindu scriptures about this. I mean, this is a Surah, a surah Araf, verse 171. Uh, so, there's no note when we shook the mountain over them <laughs> as if it had been a canopy and they thought it was going to fall on them. We said, hold firmly. When did this happen? Uh, maybe I should go into the multilingual Quran. Sorry, I'm very bad at this. Uh, now, back and forth. Anyways, uh, I'm just skipping that to find out the Shia source what it says underneath this. Because this, uh, this uh, mention when we raise the mountain, uh, it's uh, Sri Krishna had done this. Anyhow, maybe come back to it later, because I'll have to read the Shia sources what, uh, in context, if there is a Shia source on this ayat. 70, 171 of Surah Araf. And mention when your Lord took from the children of Adam, from their loins, their descendants, and made them testify of themselves. Of themselves, some say of themselves. The verse, uh, word by word, Quran, says over themselves. So the nafs testify over themselves. Like there's something, uh, for example, Paramahamsa Vishwananda says, there's Parma, uh, par, uh, what do you call it? There's a soul beyond this soul. There's this greatest being. Soul beyond soul. What is it called? The Parma, par, 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 par. Oh, I get stuck, sorry. Uh, am I not your Lord? They said, yes. We have testified. Now who will? So, the 173, the next verse, or lest you say it was only that our fathers associated others in worship with Allah before. 
and we were but descendants after them. Then would you destroy us for what the falsifiers have done? Or lest you should say our fathers before us may have taken false gods. But we are their descendants after them. Will thou then destroy us because of the deeds of men who were futile? And thus do we explain in detail the verses, and perhaps they will return and recite to them a Muhammad the news of him to whom we gave knowledge of our signs, but he de detached himself from them. So Satan pursued him, and he became of the deviators. Gone astray. And if we had willed, we could have elevated him thereby, but he adhered instead to the earth. Oh my God, this is really scary. Uh, and followed his own desire. So his example is like that of the dog. If you chase him, he pants. Or if you leave him, he still pants. That is the example of the people who denied our signs. We are dogs. <gasps> so relate the stories. I, I sometimes feel quite scared and I feel hesitant. to. I don't understand these ayats. I don't, I don't have a authority. Authority, <laughs> the saying will come. Uh, how evil an example is that of the people who denied our signs. Signs, see, our signs. And used to wrong themselves. So let's suppose if the idol worshippers saw the sign. Whoever, oh wait. I will get you. Right. What what is in the Rig Veda? No, what is uh, Rig Veda or where? Thunder. Thunder is Hinduism. What is uh, Indra? Indra, the Hindu god of thunder. Symbolism of cloud lightning. So this is Indra, right? Now what is in this thunder? Low battery, one of my... I might have to uh, shut down on this uh, live stream. Facebook live stream. Policies, people, many cultures have postulated a thunder god postulation the personification or source of the forces of thunder and lightning. Okay, this is from Wikipedia I'm reading. Thank you, Wikipedia. The lightning God does not have a typical depiction and will vary based on the culture. In Indo-European cultures, the thunder God is frequently known as the chief of king of the gods. Indra in Hinduism, Zeus in Greek mythology and Perun, or P Piron, in ancient Slavic religion, thunder gods. Uh, trying to find Hindu, so nothing more on Wikipedia. So like that, uh, thunder god in Hindu is a symbolism. Upanishads, Brihadar. Yanyaka Upanishads or Upanishads under thunder. <laughs> under thunder represents the heavenly voice of Brahma and utters da da and da, reminding the gods, humans and demons to practice. Where does it come from? Okay. This is the voice of Brahma, symbolism of the cloud. Where am I now? Which website is this? Hinduwebsite.com Thank you, Hinduwebsite.com Neham is the clouds are symbolically... Sorry about my uh, mispronunciation. Clouds. Uh, Indra is the lord of the skies. 
who flashes his weapon, the lightning, standing amidst dark water, bearing clouds. According to the legends, he released the rain held in captive by Vritta, the demon of dark clouds. The clouds represent the mental turbulence that often clogs the minds of humans. In Hindu spirituality, clouds represent the impurities that cover intelligence, buddhi, and delude beings, just as they cover the sun and the moon and prevent their light reaching the earth. The impurities cover the intelligence and prevent its light reaching the mind. Now, what clouds uh, also sim also symbolize the transient life and the phenomenal world. So I'll have to read all this. It's a lot. Yoga Sutras four, chapter four, verse twenty nine or par. Chapter 4, verse 29. The high state of self-absorption is called Dharma Mega Samadhi, meaning the state of self-absorption, in which consciousness acts like a cloud that rains virtue and righteousness, Dharma, and frees the mind from all turbulence and afflictions. Oh, now we come to thunder. The sound the sound of thunder, mega, meg, mega, or mega, garjana, garaj, you know, garjana, ah, symbolically represents the power and the voice of, symbolically represents the power and the voice of God, deva garjana, in the brihadaranyaka upanishad. Thunder represents the heavenly voice of Brahma and utters da, da, and da, reminding the gods, humans, and demons to practice restraint, dhamma, charity, dana, and compassion, daya, respectively. Indra is the god of the skies and declares his presence with thunder. Thunder also represents anger and ferocity, an awakening call, loud noises, and the march of elephants and soldiers in the battlefield. That's why mommy was scared of thunder. Okay, so thank you. Now, Da 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 Radha. So where does uh can has anyone explained what is this uh, Ra and uh, the Da of Radha? So to be or not to be. Oh. Ra da, ra da, Japanese tattoo designs. <laughs> so Krishna is Lord of entire universe. No, I need to know. Oh, I mean yes, but I need to know what a ra da is. Who has explained about this? So later on, maybe I'll come back to this. And uh, battery is very low. Um, Seventeen percent. And so, unconditional being. Is there anything maybe about the verses uh, to testify? Am I not your Lord? Uh, so, nafs. Uh, so, little knowledge. Uh, uh, I have to check all this now in my Shia books. Nafs, whether in the coffee, let me just check now, it's very interesting. In coffee, Al Kuleni, by Kuleni, 
Oh, God. Uh, did their mom say anything about... Uh, but, uh, am I not your Lord? Your Lord. Just let me check this. Sorry, taking time. And I haven't paused my video. Oh, Lord, make me know your messenger. This is a prayer now, holy books. Kitab al Kafi. Accordingly, in this hadith, also contemplation, fallen to the as having speak the kalam about the creation of oh God. Uh, nothing direct. I mean, we say that the Imam speak in parables for those only who sincere people who would understand, but uh, the insincere people. cannot understand the parables if you would not make me know make me know your messenger it's about vilaya i, I want to go to the uh, uh, god the intellect god told the intellect to come and it came and so in that uh, it's a uh, scattered narrations are there uh, i can't find it so and in the quran we are told you see here, we are told little knowledge. So trying to discover little knowledge have we given you about the soul, right? Little knowledge have we given you. Oh yes, I found it. It's in Surah Al-Isra, verse 85, uh, 17th chapter of the Quran. Going inside Qurano.com. And they ask you, oh Muhammad, about the soul. Say the soul is of the affair of my Lord. And you, i.e. mankind, have not been given of knowledge except a little. Then how will we find out? How are we going to find out? Hmm? And that if you ask something... Uh, then you know it's really terrible. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Alunaka anera ruhu. This is spirit. Min amri rabbi wama. Spirit. This is not nafs. And they ask you, Muhammad, about the spirit. Say the spirit is of. Uh, because ruh is spirit. Nafs is uh, soul and li little knowledge so this is it surah 17 verse 85 so this is the spirit so we're going here and there and i'm stuck i was literally stuck when i was a shia i couldn't find out they ask your prophet about the spirit. This is better. Uh, say its nature is known only. We can know God, like only through the prophet, whatever the channel and whatever the limits are of knowing God. Say its nature is known only to my Lord. And you, O oh humanity, Quran.com translation. The soul is of the, again, soul, where is the spirit? Yusuf Ali translation. They ask thee concerning the spirit of inspiration, say, now say the spirit cometh by command of my Lord. Of knowledge, it is only a little that is communicated to you, O men. Continue. Now what shall we do? Now we are stuck. So it's loading. And when we press to favor, you will touch us in. Oh, this is terrible. Well, uh, the truth has now arrived and falsehood. Oh, 
say, oh, my Lord, let me entry. Where did that verse go? I'm sorry, looking for that verse. 85. They ask you. So we'll, uh, I just want to go to 86 now. It's a slow process, really. And they ask you, 86. And if we willed, we could surely do away with that which we reveal to you. Then you would not find for yourself concerning it an advocate against us. These poor people, they asked uh, something. Say, everyone acts according to his own disposition. But your Lord knows best who it is that is best guided on the way. And they ask you, O Muhammad, about the soul. Say the soul, spirit, it's Ruh. So this is in the word by word Arabic, it's written in English, the soul. Whereas Ruh is, uh, you know why Ruh is uh, spirit? Because uh, Ruh is spirit. Because Ruh Allah. Jesus is the Ruh Allah. And you know, uh, in, in uh, this is not the soul. Nafs is soul. Let me just uh, pause here. Sorry, I think I found it. Uh, I have I was reading in Surah Araf, a seventh surah. Okay, which is the seventh surah? Surah Araf, right? Uh, verse 144, Mahsin Khan. Allah said, O Musa, I have chosen you above men. So I'm looking for, I've chosen you for myself. So hold that with Maybe I should go to Surah Taha. It was in Surah Taha, I read. Uh, so, Nafsi Mo, Man. Moses said, Lord, open my breast for me. Where's that chosen you for myself? Uh, oh my God, this is all uh, Aaron, my brother. Strengthen me. Verily, you have already watched over us. He said, uh, Moses, your petition is granted, it's your prayer. We have uh, again bestowed favor upon you, put uh, the baby in the chest, and then throw him in the river, the river, and then enemy of mine, enemy of his will take him. And I spread my love over you in order that you might be reared in my sight. And I spread my love over you. Remember this uh, Surah Taha verse 39. Recall when your sister went direct to you. Uh, I've chosen, no. So this is not Quran.com. 39. Quran.com. Surah Taha verse 39. Surah Taha, verse 39. Sorry, this is quite slow. Just searching, discovering online. Uh, through the chat, where's Quran.com? I have to check. Uh, there's no, oh God, Quran. Dot com. I have to check over. Verse 39. So, put him in the chest and put him in the river. Enemy, they blessed you with love from me. Mine. From mine. Enemy. Two. Just, uh, it doesn't say nafs or ruh to him and I cast over me love from me no nafs and it uh, doesn't say here under my eye where's the nafs one 
So I have to go through all this, uh, continue. And I have chosen, cast, and that you would be brought up under my eye. And we favored you when your sister, but we saved you and tried you and remained some years. You remained. Then you came at the decree time of Musa. Uh, and so, and I produced you for myself. Nafsi. Yes, yes. I got it. Verse 41, Surah Taha. And I have prepared thee for myself. So this is nafs. Musa is nafs Allah also. Okay, so this is the nafs. This is the soul. Because Jesus is spirit of Allah, Ruh Allah. The nafsi. Yes. See? Okay, I'm so overwhelmed right now. I'm going to take a break and then continue later. Thank you so much.